Well, it uh, happened less than a week in for my uh, training. I've come down with a cold, uh, what I thought was a cold, until I did a little COVID test and bang, I have COVID. So absolutely spewing. I'm less than impressed, but uh, what do you do? I'm just stuck here in my hotel for the next week until that blows over. All right, guys. I've been locked up for a couple of days with uh, COVID, been self-isolating, but it's given me a chance to pull out all my uh, gear that I've been issued with, lay it all out so we can have a sticky beak. Let's uh, start off over here. We have these five bags that it all came in. The red and yellow bag's the most important one. That's our survival gear. So that's um, that's what the yellow banana suit belongs in and the associated gear that comes with that. But I'll point that out in a minute. So as we go through, we've got our little PPE items. Uh, we've got our spotter sunglasses working there on the runway. A lot, of a lot of glare off the ice runway, so we get issued with those. Normal uh, work glasses earmuffs, sunglasses, strap, hut booties for when we're in our accommodation, basically our use. A couple of different hats and skull caps and stuff like that. Got a couple of neck warmers and the old faithful hard hat. A couple of high-vis vests there as well. And who can forget the hydration? They've even issued us with this fantastic one litre bottle of water. Because who doesn't like having a drink? It's very easy to get dehydrated. So moving over this way, we got uh, two sets of insulated pants, work pants, with our down jacket. This one's big and super warm. It's got the, uh, the big wrist cuffs on it. Fur line sort of hood with a uh, bit of wire in that brim there to help keep some shape and form. We also got issued with a Carhartt jacket and bib and brace set. They're super comfy, they're going to be fantastic. That also comes with a hood there that's detachable. Really, really comfy and warm gear, that stuff. Um, can't wait to get out on the ice and actually use it. Over here, we've got our glove selection. They have not uh, let us down with the gloves. We've got, uh, I think about six of these uh, insulated gloves over here. Another two sets of the Riggers insulated gloves, some inner gloves, some wrist warmers, six pairs of uh, Merino socks, Gore-Tex gloves. All up, we have four sets of these um, thermals. I've got three sets there and another set up there that has to live in the survival pack. They did shoot us with a set of normal work boots. These are our survival boots with the uh, snow cleats. They'll be fantastic on the ice runway, which is pretty slippery and horrible on the glacier. Couple of sets of boot liners. Boot liners more so. And the sorrel boots with the, uh, they'll be good for the winter then. It's absolutely freezing. Up here, we've got a couple of different types of uh, the outfits that all sort of get worn together. We start off here with our thermals. And we go to the 200 layer, which is this layer here. It's a bit lighter and thinner. And that's the same as this jumper. They're both uh, flame retardant. Then we go into a thicker layer, a 300 GSM, with this jacket. Which, as you can see, we're working for the Aviation Department of the Australian Antarctic Division. So that's going to be super cool. As part of this kit here, we also get a set of Oakley goggles, we go over your prescription glasses, a couple of Gore-Tex mittens, a uh, nice balaclava and a um, beanie to top it off. We also get this uh, big banana suit, so that's your waterproof, windproof layer, um, bib and brace and jacket on top. So whenever you're doing any watercraft operations or flying in and out of the continent, that's the one you're going to wear. So as you can see, all up there's a lot of items here. I'd, uh, I'd hate to fathom it how many dollars it actually all costs all up, but uh, a lot of it is reused, recycled. Anything that sort of touches your skin, 
usually stays with the uh, expeditioner, but all the uh, expensive jackets and pants and things like that all go back to get reused. So you might see a couple of photos of me wearing them soon, but we'll see how we go. See ya. two left gloves and two right boots and things like that. So, really quite warm and cosy in here. But uh, it's worth checking it all out. <laughs> 